Hi, it's Karen with RT Systems. Here to talk to you a little more about the RDM DB radio from Rugged Radio. The electronics for the USB are built into the radio. The radio uses a fairly standard cable between the radio and the computer, and everything seems like it would be really easy until you do communications, get data from radio for the first time, it tells you it's going to overwrite. Well, I don't care about this file, so I just tell it yes. The instructions to plug it in, to turn it on, and to click OK. I click OK. And the program tells me no ports found. Although I know I have everything hooked up. What's going on? I'm going to show you the problem. I'm going to show you the solution, but I'm going to have to count on you for a little imagination here for just a minute. So we're going to Device Manager. If you are on Windows 10, that is a right click on the Start button and up to Device Manager. And we get this window. Make it a little bit bigger. We see nothing with, see this little yellow mark here? That's a sign that there's a problem with that of some kind. You've seen these in Device Manager before. And this STM device in DFU mode with no little yellow symbol next to it is where I want to end up. You may find the yellow symbol here under Universal Serial Bus Controllers. You may find it up here under Other Devices, and it's really nice when it sticks out there because it'll jump out at you. But this is what we're after. Use your imagination. This is the one with the little yellow warning symbol. We are going to right click, and we're going to Update Driver comes to a screen. How do you want to search for the drivers? You want to browse my computer for driver software. We're going to browse. We're going to go to local C drive, program files x86. Under that you will find common files. Under that you will find RT systems v5. In there, you will find RT drivers. And you can maybe stop there, but we're going to give it just a little more help. And we're going to select this DMR drivers. I don't want to go any further than that. And I'm going to tell it OK. Be sure the include subfolders box is checked and tell it next. And it takes about that long. Even though mine wasn't yellow, if yours is yellow, it takes about that long. It's not a long process at all. I'm finished with this. It's successful. And now SMT device in DFU mode. Go back to the program. And now when I do communications and get data from radio, Yes, I want to overwrite this file, and OK. Everything works like I expect it to. And I have a screen full of information. This is what the radio comes set up with from Rugged. And remember, like I told you in the other video, if you add to this, Make sure you put anything you add in a zone. I was apparently working with someone with this Randy zone, and it can just have him in it, or I can add anything else I want to it. I recommend that you add it to A and B purely because we didn't, and his radio was in B mode. His file, his channel was in A. A mode, and we couldn't find it. So we're going to add it to A and B, along with a few other things here. When I send it to the radio, I have Randy 
wherever I want it to be. Settings, radio menu settings. The P1 key on the face of the radio steps you through the zones. If you get to where you're having a whole lot of them, you might want to take another key, one steps forward and one steps backwards. So you don't always have to step all the way through the list to get back where you were. Save this up. When you send it to the radio, all these changes go to the radio and you're set and ready to go. Enjoy your radio. Drive carefully.